Another example of something that you'll commonly see, uh, you'll have maybe on either side of, of a crucified uh, Christ in religious art, you'll have what appears to be sort of a, a round shape uh, on one side and the other with people in them or faces in them. Uh, these are very well-known, uh, again, motifs and features of religious art, and they refer to the sun and the moon. Uh, again, the sun and the moon, uh, if you read the New Testament, you'll know that the sun and the moon, uh, t sun turning to blood, moon turning to blood, that, those sorts of things are associated with the crucifixion account and, of course, the second coming as well. So what these are is these are personifications of celestial objects, sun and moon in this case, uh, that are given personality and, and uh, given sort of human form as characters in the story or characters in the narrative. They are not UFOs. Again, all of this, these kinds of things are well known to people who make their living in the art history field. Uh, they're not astounded by the, uh, this amazing thing that they see in a painting and it surely must be something from another planet. Uh, they don't look at, look at it that way at all because they just know they've seen hundreds of these and they know what it is and they know why it's there.